First up at Stamford Bridge, Arsenal 4, Chelsea 2. Who the hell saw that coming? What a way to bounce back. What a way to silence your critics, even if just temporarily. Everybody was talking about our lack of firepower. Everybody was talking about Arsenal's inability to score goals. People were complaining, criticising Mikel Arteta from the team selection. But it worked. It worked to a T. A couple of silly mistakes allowed Chelsea back into the game a couple of times when really we shouldn't have given them a hope. But we still had the spirit, we still had the fight to keep our heads up and get another couple of goals late on. The atmosphere in the away end tonight was incredible as well. Uh, credit to all these fans because there's been a lot of shit online over the last sort of few weeks. You know, people being critical of the manager, like overly critical, people getting toxic, you know, all that stuff. We see it all the bloody time, don't we? Every time Arsenal lose a game. But what I learned tonight, what I saw tonight from this away section of support is that the majority are still very much behind this team, are still very much um, sort of enjoying the ride, really believing in this group of players and feeling as though we're moving in the right direction. Yes, of course, there's going to be uh, moments. Here we go. Champion attack. Arsenal on the way to Champions League. Stuff. But yeah, just you know, running through the team in terms of their performances. Aaron Ramsdale, I thought he could have done a bit better uh, for Chelsea's first goal, to be honest. The second goal, um, I thought Nuno Tavares got caught out at the far post. He probably should have defended that situation a little bit better. But Arsenal, you know, it's a big win and it's not just about the three points. Obviously, the three points are massive, but it's about the confidence boost. Yeah, you can turn it around against a weaker side, etc, etc, and that's great. But it's brilliant, isn't it, when, um, when you get a win like this because it can really lift spirit. So, yeah, really, really enjoyed it. As I said, Ramsdale probably should have done a bit better for the first goal. Tavares had a good game going forward. I thought he gave us a lot of legs on the left-hand side. Even if he did get caught slipping defensively for that Chelsea second goal. I thought the centre-halves, Gabriel was brilliant, back to his best tonight. Holding was a little bit iffy in the first half, so was Ben White, to be fair. Um, Zaka was brilliant as well, uh, playing on that right-hand side, getting up and down the pitch, doing lots of good work in the midfield. Jack and Elneny were superb as well. Um, yeah, brilliant all-round performance. Eddie and Ketia as well, the star of the show tonight. Got a couple of goals, Eddie and Ketia. He's been getting a lot of criticism lately, so delighted to see him obviously get uh, his sort of reward for his hard work that he's been putting in behind the scenes. Lots and lots to be proud of, lots and lots to be positive about Saka. Excellence, won the penalty, stepped up, had the balls to take it as well. We're going to do a full breakdown of this, but I just wanted to give you some post-match reaction to this because I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Great to see uh, Mikel Arteta's side pull off a big, big result tonight. Go and beat Man United at the weekend at Emirates Stadium and we're right back in the fight for the top four. All is not lost. Every single one of them to a man was excellent. I might have forgot people because I'm buzzing and my voice is gone. And I'm, uh, I've had a, a few drinks, I'm not going to lie. So uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a proper full length thing, maybe even later tonight, just depending on what time I get home. But superb result, superb win. Come on, you Gunners.